Welcome back guys. In this episode we will go through and I will show you just a little bit quick how I did connect my MPP solar 10 kilowatts hybrid inverter to the grid. So basically you have the cable here it's a little bit dark that goes into this three phase universal plug. The cable goes up into this switch here. This is uh, my main power switch that I have close to the inverter. Um, this is needed from the regulations in Sweden at least. Uh, I already had one over on the other end but I prefer to have one in either end. This one is just connected straight through. Uh, it's a three phase breaker inside. inside so it breaks all the three phases. So let's take a deeper look at the central itself and how that's connected. So basically what you see here, here's the incoming line from the power grid or almost from the power grid that actually comes from my distribution pole and into my garage. And this is just to connect this big fat, fat wire with my box up here. So if we take a look at the box, it's a rather simple box and this is only for the power from my garage. That's the cable that goes to the inverter. It's a uh, 10 square millimeter, uh, five wires inside for three phase system, including neat neutral and ground. So basically what we have inside here, um, you have the main breaker for this uh, building itself and that will also break the power from uh, the inverter to the grid. We have a, an earth breaker if something goes wrong. And here's my main switches for the garage itself. And this breaker here, 16 amp, three phase, is for the inverter. And there is actually a breaker on the inverter as well. But I want one here because it's really a, li a little bit simpler. They do recommend 20 amp, but I'm not going to run 20 amp through it. I'm only going to run 16 amp because that's what I have uh, fused in my main incoming, and that's what I'm allowed to put back into the grid as well. And it's always good practice to have proper fuses. So let's open this up. Uh, beware of that. This is live fed at the moment so there is power in this box here so I do not suggest to touch anything uh, it's really really important to know what you are doing before doing this so basically you have the power line coming from the inverter in here 10 millimeter going into the fuses those fuses are just tied directly to the rest of this grid so, I mean that's basically it when you have a grid tie inverter there is nothing really special, especially not in Sweden. The only thing you need to do is make sure you have the breaker and on the main box outside you need to make sure that you have the proper stickers. This is the main cabinet for incoming power. Open it up. And this is basically what's needed. That one. And that marking that this says if you break this, you won't have any power going inwards. The reason I'm not using this one here as original is because that one cannot be locked. You need to be able to lock it. So that's basically it. You don't need anything else. That sign, that sign, a lockable uh, switch. That should conclude it for today. Uh, I have another extra meter actually because that one I can read off Modbus from my computer. Uh, and that's the original one. Thank you. Please subscribe and I talk to you later. Bye